Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Bauma 2022 and I'm on an electric journey, but I've also been on a journey recently this year, launching the brand new Cat Compact Wheel Loader. And lo and behold, behind me is an electric version of that. It's a big surprise for me. The team have hidden it away from me, apparently in a shed 10 meters away when I was at the Cat Desford facility where this unit is made and it's all electric. But I've got a little bone to pick because I didn't know about this one. And now they've revealed it at Bauman without telling me. And I'm all plugged in now with my friend Ely Abukaram. Ely. Yes. We've got a problem. I don't think we've got a problem, Peter. We have because I just helped you guys launch the compact wheel loader, the diesel one, and you didn't tell me we've gone all electric as well. And here it is at Bauma. Ely, where, why have we got the battery version already then? We've launched, I've seen it this week, a new pack, power pack that right. is Caterpillar, born and bred, like the machines they make. That goes into this and it's all part of the DNA now that we've Absolutely. seen on site, isn't it? Yeah, so you came and interviewed us back in the summer for our diesel machines, our next gen that are now launched. This is exactly the same machine, the same cab, same loader, same hydraulic, same software. Now people have got a choice. Right. Right, they can choose diesel, they can choose electric. That's and what we're trying to do. Is it as simple as that? Are all the components that we've got in there, oh, the battery and some of the other bits, they're all common components. So you, you literally get into this model, it looks the same. Absolutely. Yeah. What, we're, what we're trying to do with this machine is we want someone who can drive a diesel machine yep. to drive this machine. It will have the same type of performance, the same characteristics. It's still a hydraulic drive, yep. still hydraulic loader. So it is literally the choice of your power. That's what we're trying to do. Right. And folks, the most important thing is we've got to go and see what's at the back right here, which is the battery pack and, and all of the other charging elements here. Absolutely. What are the charging elements for it? What's, what power have we got in there? So, so this machine, we're running a 300 volt system yep. and we've got a 64 kilowatt hour battery. Right. And so that battery has been sized. We've got historical data for years and years from our diesel machines. We know how long people run machines. We know what applications. So we have sized this correctly to meet a day's worth of application. So standard to medium duty, it's not gonna meet everyone's demands, yeah. but 80% of our machine, diesel machines, run for four hours or less. So this will right. now have six hours of electric runtime versus diesel time, uh, engine on time on the, on the diesel machines. And so this, we're really is comfortable. Why, this is why I talk about data a lot, folks, because when you have the data to match usage, you can just look at that in the context of all different alternative Absolutely. fuels. And now we're talking about battery. We could in the future be talking about hydrogen. And of course, the big question everybody asks, yes, we've covered the hours. How do I charge it up and, and what's the methods? And obviously this is a prototype at the moment, isn't it? So this is a prototype machine, but it's uh, we've had multiple generations to get this to this stage. On the back of the machine here, you see three different um, charging units. So if you charge on a single phase versus three phase, you get different um, charge levels. Yeah, so yeah. if you're if you're charging in a household socket, which is a 13 amp fuse, which yep. we've got just here on the right, um, it will take maybe 18 hours. But you're own, you're never going to go from zero to 100. That's only an emergency. I need to charge a yeah. little bit to get to where I need. On the 320 stand, we had a like a car charger package, which is an AC charger, somewhere between three and seven kilowatt yep. that you would use for a normal car. So that is utilizing one of these um, chargers. Now, if you're in a workshop and you have a large 32 amp uh, power where if you're welding or you've got some kind of heavy equipment you'll have three phase now that's three and a half hours from zero to 100. Right so fantastic so fundamentally charging sorted out usage we've already done the maths on that this is about optimization you know because you've got the battery you're fitting it right to, for the actual applications and the usages and so we've then got the charging it all adds up to be just a you can't tell the difference type of scenario it's just that it's got a little blue on the sticker, hasn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. The new stickers on the side, blue with the word electric. So yeah. that's the delta between that and the, the red diesel, the diesel machines with the red hexagons. But yeah, we want the operator to feel comfortable that they can move from one to the other. A lot of our operators are multi-skilled. They're, they're doing multiple things on the site. They're, they're not always the highly experienced operators you get in some of the larger mining or quarry machines. So we need it to be easy. We need to get in and know that it's familiar. So that's, that's what we're basically doing. And of course, the thing that Caterpillar's done, folks, is it's got their own battery technology, tested it out. You're making your own batteries. You're not getting them in from third parties. Right. So the whole thing is put together in the Caterpillar DNA. Absolutely. As in, 
end to end, and therefore things like warranties, things like um, the, the, the whole repower piece. It's all covered by everything you get from Caterpillar. The other important thing is all the software. So a lot of software development going on right. to make the machine perform the way we want it to perform as generation one and maybe evil evolve future. And also the charging systems. The charging systems have been developed as well with, within Caterpillar. You've seen on some of the other stands, the 48 volt yep. DC charger and the, the large DC chargers for the bigger machines. So in the future, there will be a DC charging on this machine and that will get, get you down to less than an hour. So oh, for every 10, minute, every 10 minutes of charge, yep. you get an hour's usage. Right. So that's, t that's a break time. Exactly. And uh, I believe you live in the UK. I do. So would you like to come and visit at some point? I think I'd like <laughs> another electric moment with the team here and to see this machine being built in the UK and to see that going globally around yeah. to transform the way people use electric in the environments, low emission zones, quiet zones that we need. It's just fantastic to see UK manufactured product globally on a scale in Bauma here and going all electric all over the world. Thanks very much. No problem for you.